Why don't they play hide and seek in Amsterdam? Because it's hard to hide when you're always high. Now let's dive into the charming city of Amsterdam, fondly referred to as the Venice of the North. With more than 100 kilometers of canals, it's easy to see why this comparison holds water. These waterways, built during the Dutch Golden Age, crisscross the city, creating an enchanting network of bridges and islands that have shaped Amsterdam's distinct and beautiful cityscape. But it's not just about the water, the city's rich history and cultural significance are equally captivating. From the iconic Anne Frank House to the world-renowned Van Gogh Museum, Amsterdam's past and present intertwine, telling a story that's as colorful as the tulips the country is famous for. So, next time someone asks you about the Venice of the North, don't just think about gondolas and Italian gelato, but canals and, well, brownies. Why did the Amsterdam cyclist break up with their partner? Because they were too tired D of them. Now let's pedal our way into the city of bikers, the one and only, Amsterdam. This city is a haven for cyclists, boasting more bicycles than people. Yes, you heard it right, more bicycles than people. Amsterdam is a city that breathes life into the phrase, healthy lifestyle. Here, bicycles are not just a mode of transport, they're a way of life. In a world where carbon footprints loom large, Amsterdam is leading the way with its eco-friendly approach. The city's bicycle culture is a testament to its commitment to a healthier, cleaner future. Every street, every corner, every canal is alive with the sound of spinning wheels and the soft hum of bike chains. So if you're in Amsterdam, remember to look both ways before crossing a bike lane. It's not just cars you have to worry about. What's a stoner's favorite type of accommodation in Amsterdam? A high's boat. Now let's dive into one of Amsterdam's most distinctive features, its houseboats. These floating homes add a unique charm to the city's already picturesque canals and waterways. Houseboats in Amsterdam are no ordinary boats. They are fully equipped dwellings complete with all the comforts of a traditional house. Imagine sipping your morning coffee while watching ducks paddle by your window, or being rocked to sleep by the gentle waves. It's a lifestyle that combines the tranquility of waterfront living with the convenience of city life. But how did these houseboats become such a quintessential part of Amsterdam's cityscape? Well, the story dates back to the post-World War II era. With a housing shortage and a surplus of old cargo ships, the locals got creative and began converting these vessels into homes. Over time, these makeshift dwellings evolved, and today, they are as diverse as the city's inhabitants themselves, ranging from renovated cargo ships to purpose-built floating houses. The houseboats are more than just a tourist attraction, they're a testament to Amsterdam's innovative spirit and its unique relationship with water. In a city that's been fighting off the sea for centuries, it's amazing to see how Amsterdammers have turned this challenge into an opportunity, creating a living environment that's truly one of a kind. It's also worth noting that getting a spot on the water isn't as easy as it once was. With strict regulations in place and a finite number of mooring spots, owning a houseboat in Amsterdam has become a coveted privilege. Some houseboats even pass from generation to generation, much like a family heirloom. Living on water might not be for everyone, but in Amsterdam it's just another day in paradise. Or should we say, paradise. Why do stoners love Amsterdam's diamond industry? Because they always care it about quality. Now, let's dive into the sparkling world of Amsterdam's diamond industry. You see, Amsterdam wasn't always known for its bicycles and tulips. Once upon a time it was the city of diamonds, a glittering gem in the heart of Europe. In the late 16th century Amsterdam became a significant diamond center when Sephardic Jews, fleeing the Inquisition in Spain and Portugal, brought their diamond polishing skills to the city. This migration established Amsterdam as a vibrant diamond hub, and the city's diamond industry flourished for centuries. Even through the turbulent times of World War II, the diamond industry managed to survive, albeit diminished. Today, the city's diamond legacy lives on, with several world-class diamond polishing factories still operational. These factories, like Gasson Diamonds and Coaster Diamonds, offer guided tours where you can witness the magic that turns a rough stone into a dazzling diamond. Amsterdam's diamond industry has also contributed to technological advancements. The city is the birthplace of the Amsterdam Cut, a particular diamond cutting technique that maximizes the stone's brilliance. This cut is still widely used in the diamond industry today. The diamond industry's influence extends beyond the economic sphere. Amsterdam's iconic canals are often compared to a diamond's facets, while A Diamond Night in Amsterdam, a popular Dutch song, pays homage to the city's sparkling history. 
Amsterdam's diamond legacy is also reflected in its sports scene. The city's baseball team is aptly named Amsterdam Diamonds, a nod to the city's rich diamond history. So you see, Amsterdam's diamond industry is more than just a business. It's a testament to the city's resilience, its capacity for innovation, and its ability to shine, no matter what. So, if you're looking for a rock in Amsterdam, you've got two options, a diamond or, well, you know. Why did the stoner go to the Heineken Brewery? Because he heard they were brewing high-quality beer. Now let's dive into the frothy world of the Heineken Brewery, located in the bustling heart of Amsterdam. This isn't just a brewery, it's an immersive experience, a journey into the world of one of the most iconic beer brands on the globe. The Heineken Experience, as it's aptly named, is housed in the original Heineken Brewery, a building that has stood for over a century and a half. It's here where the first golden drops of this world-famous beer were brewed, and today, it invites visitors into a fascinating exploration of its rich history and brewing process. Imagine stepping into a world where you can taste, touch, smell, and even hear the magic that goes into brewing Heineken. From the towering copper brew kettles to the mesmerizing process of fermentation, every step of the journey is an adventure in itself. You get to learn about the ingredients, the craftsmanship, and the passion that make Heineken a beer loved by millions around the world. But the Heineken experience isn't just about brewing beer, it's also about connecting with its visitors, offering interactive exhibits and games. Ever wondered what it feels like to be a Heineken bottle? Well, you can find out here. And of course, no trip to the Heineken Brewery would be complete without tasting the beer itself. Here you can sip on a perfectly poured pint of Heineken, freshly brewed and as crisp as it gets. It's the perfect way to round off this immersive journey. In the heart of Amsterdam, the Heineken Brewery stands as a testament to the city's love for beer and its commitment to brewing excellence. It's a place where stories are shared, toasts are made, and memories are created. So, if you're in Amsterdam and you're thirsty, remember, there's always a cold Heineken waiting for you, and who knows what else. Why don't stoners get lost in Amsterdam? Because they always follow the pot at the end of the rainbow. Well, we've had quite an adventure exploring Amsterdam, haven't we? We've navigated the city's beautiful, intricate canals, earning it the moniker, the Venice of the North. With more bridges than Venice itself, it's easy to see why. We've also discovered that Amsterdam is a city powered by pedal. From the young to the old, everyone's on a bike. It's a city where the number of bicycles outnumbers the population. Now that's a fact that'll make your wheels spin. On our journey, we've marveled at the city's unique floating homes, the houseboats. These fascinating dwellings are a testament to Amsterdam's innovative spirit, creating a charming living space out of necessity due to the city's geographical limitations. Then, we've delved into the sparkling world of diamonds, learning about Amsterdam's rich history as the City of Diamonds. For over four centuries, this city has been a major diamond polishing hub, adding a little extra sparkle to our trip. And who can forget our intoxicating experience at the Heineken Brewery? We've learned about the brewing process, tasted some world-class beer, and even got to be brewers for a day. A dream come true for beer lovers. Oh, and let's not forget our light-hearted marijuana jokes. They say in Amsterdam you can always find the pot at the end of the rainbow. A little fun fact for you. Amsterdam's coffee shops are famous for selling more than just a cup of joe. You can also purchase and consume marijuana in a legal and controlled environment. It's all part of the city's unique charm. Remember, Amsterdam is not just about getting high, it's about enjoying high times in a city filled with history, culture and, well, diamonds and bikes. Until next time, stay high on life.